Hello all, it's Jarrett Moore and I'm one of the Enterprise DNA experts on the Enterprise DNA Forum. Today's video I'm going to go over the process in which I choose my color scheme for each of my Power BI reports. What you're looking at here on the screen right now is one of my recent entries into one of our Power BI challenges that are going on on the Enterprise DNA website. Lots of interesting and fun stuff going on on the Enterprise DNA website. Make sure you check that out whenever you get a chance. But with this entry right here, how I choose my color scheme, I'm going to go through that process with you right now. The first thing I usually do is I go to Google and I do a search for the theme of the, uh, of the report that I'm going to be doing. In this case, we were given a data set for a vision company. So what I did is I went on Google and I searched for optician company logos. Once I did that search, I found this logo right here of a company called More Vision Opticians and I liked the color scheme that was involved in their image. So what I do then, once I have an image that I have selected, is I go over to the Analyst Hub on the, DNA, uh, on the Enterprise DNA website. You can see the web link above right here. And there's three different options to choose some colors for your color theme. But since I saved a photo, what I'm going to do is choose the image to colors option. Once I click on there, I'm going to click on the upload your image and then select that vision logo that I uploaded. And once that appears on the screen here, I'll review some of the colors that it brought back and in this case I'm probably not going to use any of these colors and sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't. So what I do is I go to my second site that I always go to to choose my themes and that would be imagecolorpicker.com and on here it's very similar to the one that's on the Enterprise DNA website. Here's where I would click on upload my image click on that same logo once that loads into here this gives you a bunch of different color palette schemes at the very bottom here but what I really really like about this website is if you click on any part of the picture it will actually give you the hex code or the RGB code and, and that's what I use to help generate a JSON theme that I'm going to upload into my Power BI report for my color theme. But as you go through here, you can see that this is pretty much like the dominant color that I would probably want to use for my, my theme. And as we scroll through some of these other ones, I'm probably going to use a majority of these as I select my hex codes for my report. So then what I what I do is once I have those hex codes, I usually you know put those in a Word file. But in this case, what I've done for you is I've actually added that to a, a report page here. And what I'm going to do is just copy these hex codes right now. And then once I have these hex codes copied, what I'm going to do is go over to the Power BI .tips themes generator page. And on this website, what I really like about this is all you have to do is enter the hex codes here and then it will auto generate a theme for you, a JSON theme based on that. So what all I do is paste all those hex codes into here, click the add button, and then this gives you a preview of all the colors that you want to add. And you can edit from here if you'd like or get rid of. But in this case, this is the theme that I'd want to do. So now all I would do is click on download theme and then I would just rename my theme here and click download and save it to the appropriate folder on your computer. But what I've done here already is I've actually shown you a picture right here of what that file looks like if you were to open it up on your computer. Now in this instance right here I'm using notepad to show you what the JSON theme would look like but in many cases I use Visual Studio Code as an option as well. But for here, this is with Notepad, but not to get too confused of, of what is happening inside this document, but this is what uh, 
is being generated from that website that we just went to. And then once I have that saved, all I do is go up here to the View tab in Power BI, click on this arrow right here, and browse for themes, and select the JSON theme that we just created, and hit Open. This tells us that it was imported successfully. So now what I'm going to do is go over to one of my report pages here, click on one of these slicers right here, click on the formatting pane, open up the background color, and you can see all of the color themes that was just downloaded from our JSON theme. All of those colors were from right here, which is theme color one, as you can see, all the way over here to theme color eight. And these are the colors that are implemented in this report right here. In the next video, I'll go over how I create the background for each one of these slides. That's it for now. Make sure you click on the like button on the YouTube page here, and also subscribe to the Enterprise DNA YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks and have a great day.